what are some of the steps or things that we need to do to prepare more? And the second question to that is, how much time do we need to have to make to go through these steps? How do you calculate how much time is enough time to prepare and when it's not enough? Well, you know, to, to your last question, a lot of that, unfortunately, sometimes goes into the reflective piece. And part when we when I say reflect, it's based on our own performances, too. But we can also reach out to get the value, to extract the value from other people's experiences. And using that, as, you know, when we research how we're going to do something better, we're looking at people who already do that well and taking that, that information and using it to help prepare. Um, and the things that we do well in the military, we're able to do so because we have these comprehensive and these deliberate and consistent processes for everything that we do. And like I said, the, the four part mindset that I developed to create tougher sailors in the Navy, that first piece of that is the commitment piece, is the intentionality piece. Know why you're doing what you're doing and knowing that the daily behaviors and actions need to be aligned with that purpose. And when you prepare, it's with the right knowledge and the right skills, but you're also pairing that with the mental game. So you're using some performance psychology, such as self-talk, such as the mental rehearsal that we talked about, visualizing the things that are gonna to happen to us and living that moment before actually even doing it. Uh, things such as mindfulness to maintain our, our focus and self-awareness when we need it most in the clutch. And then when we're actually in the execution phase, we're considering three things. First is, is our ability to be in the moment and stay focused and engaged, but, come, but also being able to have situational awareness, to be able to read the room, read the people, read the situation, and, and make sure that that informs our next steps. And lastly, we need agility. We need to always be in the mindset that, hey, What's going to happen next? What could happen next? And then lastly is that reflection piece is, okay, what happened and how do I have that deliberate process for using that to better my next performance? In terms of the time, that's, that's tough to say. And that's, of course, going to be, to be different. And when you really build that whole roadmap and that plan and you rehearse and you walk through all the things that you're going to do, hopefully that reveals some of the things that you, uh, you need more work in and some of the things you're actually doing pretty well. And, you know, unfortunately, sometimes you just got to go through it um, with as much confidence as you can bring because of the preparation you've done and be ready to take those lessons learned even better the next time.